Hi guys, David Blay here with Integrated Engineering. Today we're going to talk about our FDS intercooler technology. So the unique factor on our FDS intercoolers is the flow distribution system, which as we'll see is basically a way of utilizing more of the effective intercooler core area. Here we have our FDS cutout. Um, you can see that we've removed the top part of the inlet side of the intercooler end tank. Uh, what you can see here is the FDS fins are placed in such a manner to force the airflow to the top of the core, whereas models that don't have the FDS technology only utilize basically at the bottom half of the core. After we finished optimizing the intercooler uh, using computer flow simulations, we actually wanted to find a way to quantify that and make sure that those results were applicable in reality and we hadn't made a mistake in our simulations or anything like that. So what we did was we actually used our in-house engine dynamometer. Basically what we did was we mounted some temperature transistors from top to bottom on the intercooler. What those did was allow us to measure the temperature of individual places on the intercooler core itself. That allowed us to verify the results we were getting in computer simulation and make sure that it was actually applicable in the real world. In one final round of testing, we actually took an OE 2012 GTI and performed five runs in a row with the factory intercooler. Even the very first run, intake air temps are way up and by the last run, it's extremely hot. Then we installed our brand new IE FDS intercooler on it and performed five runs again. Uh, and the temperatures are grouped much closer. Uh, power and torque stay much closer. During our final round of testing, one thing that we noticed is really key to the end user is that the factory intercooler, over five runs, dropped over 40 foot-pounds of torque, which is huge. You'll totally notice that while daily driving, especially if you are running the car up a canyon or something like that. Given these results, we're extremely pleased with the way this intercooler came out. The car is just much more responsive on the street, and we're really looking forward to applying this technology to other applications in the future.